What's good, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. Um, this one will be real quick. I wanted to touch on um, the sister, Tatiana Jefferson, who was murdered once again in her home, um, ironically, in the city of Fort Worth, Texas, which is right down the street from Dallas, where both of them, uh, John was murdered. And again, this time it's a black sister murdered by a white officer, but also in her own home. And a lot of people have so many different, differing opinions on how these things play out, why they play out, what the actual motives are or were. And of course, anybody who knows me, y'all know that I'm, I am always of the belief that when these types of situations happen, that it is racially motivated. And people say, well, you know, he's race baiting, he's doing that. Nah, man, ain't, ain't no such thing as all that as it relates to the history of black people in America because we've seen too many times where um, police officers have been able to de-escalate de situations where white people were involved and there was nobody, no loss of life that took place in the aftermath. And those people were either brought in peacefully or they were um, subdued in a different type of manner. In this particular case, you have a young black woman who was in the privacy of her own home and a wellness phone call was made to the police to check on her because her door was, was open. And as black people, what, what, what the rest of America has to understand is that we have a very sketchy history as it relates to law enforcement. So there have been occasions where even when we call the police, we're the ones who call the police, and then the individuals who end up calling the police end up being the one who either get arrested or shot or killed by the police. This is not normal behavior. And I think what the neighbor was attempting to do was, was, a, was an admirable thing. He was attempting to check on the sister to make sure she was okay, but in doing so, it ultimately led to her being murdered by um, Aaron Dean, Officer Aaron Dean, and who has been charged with murder, rightfully so because that was no, again, that was no command, that was, that, that was a put your hands up command, but that was no identifying himself by the officer. The officer never identified who he was and why he was there. So with that being said, again, we fast forward to a scenario where now you see situations in, in the media where they are slowly attempting to criminalize this sister again because the, 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 the new report said, well, well, in the warrant in the house, it was discovered that there was a gun present and it was out in the open, okay? If she was in her house at two o'clock in the morning and heard somebody in her backyard, then being in the privacy of her own home and having the right to protect herself, then she's well within her constitutional rights, according to your constitution, to be able to have a weapon to protect herself, whether whether you agree with guns or not. According to your constitution, she was within her rights to have a weapon present because she doesn't know who's coming in, coming through her backyard and about to enter into her home. Subsequently, she gets murdered. And so now they're trying to put that out there as to say, well, she had a gun. Why even mention that? And a lot of black people who tend to dismiss these um, repetitive scenarios as being just happenstance or being somehow the other black person's fault, it was something that they could have did. These continuous moments are the things that make us continue to address them the way that we do. Because again, it's a situation where 
the disproportionate number of black people killed by white officers or law enforcement in general is so astronomical that you are totally oblivious or you are in complete denial or you just flat out ignorant if you deny it being any other thing than what it really is. The writing is on the wall because we are treated by a different set of standards and um, the rules are different when it comes to black people. So now this sister who was actually entertaining her eight-year-old nephew is dead and her family has to deal with that and, 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 and grieve for the rest of their lives because of the complete idiotic, negligent actions of another one of their so-called trained law enforcement. So we have to continue to bring these issues to light. We have to continue to, to speak on these things and bring them out for what they are. And it's sad that for some of us, we are not going to fully grasp the depth and the concept of how this thing really works because we are company men and women, we are Americans. You're not gonna really grasp it until, it until it comes on your front porch. Then you'll get it. You won't really grasp it until you're confronted by it. Then you'll get it because This is, to, this is so senseless. And it's almost, I'm almost at a loss of words because even though we've seen this happen, we've seen this play out at an increase so many times over the years, and people say, well, it's just the media sensationalizing it. Nah, if the media truly sensationalized it, then you would see the many, many, many incidents that don't make national headlines. You would see those then you could say it's being sensationalized. But these are incidents that have reached the point of epic proportions where it's so ridiculous, man. It's so ridiculous. It's a lot more that I want to speak on that. But again, the pattern is black person killed by law enforcement, predominantly white law enforcement, um, public outrage, media coverage, Police department does an investigation, puts puts spin on it, media puts spin on it. It goes away, then it's somebody else in a couple of weeks or in a month. So just advising everybody, just keep your eyes open and, and, and let's be more compassionate. And I'm speaking to black people, let's be more compassionate and more uh, make ourselves more knowledgeable to the time and what must be done, to the time we living in. Because it's bigger than just what we see and it's more so God's way of telling us we need to wake up. And some of y'all won't understand what I mean by that, but it's God's way of saying we need to wake up and unite with each other so that this enemy that continues to kill us will lose his power. And uh, that's all I gotta say, man. I didn't wanna be long, but I guess I went a little longer than I wanted to. I'll follow up with it as um, more developments take place. But unfortunately, there'll be another one. And uh, we'll see what it do. All right, peace.